Hello and welcome to Writing with Steve. Today we're considering the poem A Living Space by Imtiaz Darka. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now. Also, after we've analysed the poem, stick around because we're then going to look at some questions which will help you plan a response to the poem for any examination, essay or test. I have the poem here, so let's start. There are just not enough straight lines. That is the problem. Nothing is flat or parallel. Beams balance crookedly on supports, thrust off the vertical. Nails clutch at open seams. The whole structure leans dangerously towards the miraculous. Into this rough frame, someone has squeezed a living space and even dared to place these eggs in a wire basket. Fragile curves of white hung out over the dark edge of a slanted universe, gathering the light into themselves as if they were the bright thin walls of faith. This is a many layered poem full of meanings and ripe for interpretation, several interpretations. So let's start examining the poem's structure, its themes and the poetic devices that Imtiaz Darker uses. In the beams of a rickety house, the people living there have placed a basket of eggs. This wire nest balances precariously upon the beam and looks likely to fall at any moment and the eggs with their chicks will perish. However, rather than being gloomy and negative, the narrator finds the nest life affirming. The eggs represent an act of faith and hope by the home dwellers that the eggs will survive. The poem suggests life finds a way of asserting itself in the unlikeliest of place. Living space is found despite the dangers all around. The poem's structure supports this theme. The words are squeezed tightly into a long vertical stanza with barely enough space to breathe. The poem has just enough living space. Structuring the poem this way stresses the cramped conditions of the people living in the makeshift building. Rhymes that, flat, beams, seams, space, place, white, light. In this case, the rhyme provides the nails and bricks and mortar to hold the structure of the poem together. The use of enjambment, run-on lines, makes the poem conversational and being written in the present tense makes the narrator's experiences immediate. The poem is based upon the narrator's observations. The words miraculous and faith introduce a religious theme. The nails represent faith that people clutch to at testing times. Personification and active verbs give the poem energy and create vivid pictures in the reader's mind. The structure leans dangerously and nails clutch, beams balance crookedly. Through antithesis, that is using opposites, the fragility of the eggs is emphasised. Their fragile curves of white contrast with the dark edge of the beams that balance crookedly. The light of the eggs contrasts with the dark edge that surrounds them. Their curves contrast with the slanted straight edge of the universe. Again, the contrast between the enormity of the universe contrasts with the smallness of the eggs. And yet these eggs hold hope. 
Faith and hope prevents people from sliding into the darkness of the slanted universe. The eggs and the unstable structure represent the fragility of human life, liable to fall or be destroyed at any moment. But faith brings hope and confronts these ever-present dangers. Imtiaz Dhaka states that the poem is set in the slums of Mumbai, where people migrate from all over India in the hope of a better life. And one of the themes that stems from this observation is the fragility and yet the endurance and strength of life and of hope. The theme also includes how religious faith and hope, having a positive outlook, holding optimism of a better and brighter future, sustains people in the unlikeliest of places and circumstances. And connected to this theme is how life exists and thrives in the unlikeliest of places and under the harshest of circumstances. In T.S. Dhaka, a world-renowned poet, was born in Pakistan and grew up in Scotland. Her poems often address identity, the role of women in contemporary society and the search for meaning. She draws on her multicultural experience in her work and her intimate knowledge of Mumbai. And she also works to raise awareness of issues in other countries. And like all good poems, this poem is capable of various interpretations. To help us plan a response to it, here are some questions to consider. Are aspects of the poet's life reflected in the poem? And if so, what aspects? Is the time or place in which it was written reflected in the poem? Does the poem only apply to places in the world like Mumbai, or does it address universal themes? I hope you found this video useful. If so, please hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Also check out our other videos on writing and analyzing texts, including poems. Until next time, from Carol and me, write well.